Now, faith and reason teach us that no person or group can usurp or be granted to the, the privileges which belong solely to the office of the papacy or to the offices of the bishops, each individual office for each individual bishop. Nobody can replace those offices, especially lay people. One of the most important reasons that the Virgin Mary made this direct command to the Holy Father was to remind him, the church militant, and yes, eventually, even the, the entire world, of the defining charism of the papal office, a truth which became dimmer and dimmer, and which so many of the popes, especially in the last 60 years, either forgot or dismissed or never fully understood. One incident which exposed this terrible misunderstanding or flaw was witnessed in 1980 when John Paul II was approached by Bishop Pavel Hanilka of Czechoslovakia. He told John Paul II in the presence of the Pope's very close friend, Cardinal Wazinski, that the most important thing he had to do during his pontificate was the consecration of Russia to the Immaculate Heart of Mary in union with all the bishops. However, John Paul II protested, and eventually he stated that the, quote, jurisdiction of the Pope only comprises the Catholic Church, and he said that the Pope was not the Pope of all men, unquote. It was then that his close friend, again, Cardinal Wazinski, reminded him, quote, Christ being the king of the world, his vicar has jurisdiction over all men, unquote. And in this he was correct. Divine revelation proves that Christ founded the church and the papal office. The purpose of the papal office is to guard the deposit of faith and to teach, govern, and sanctify the people. Now that's also true in a great degree for the bishops, who are princes of the church in their own right, but they are also subject to the Pope. Therefore, no believer, as the Pope identified people, presumably meaning practicing Catholics, no church community, and no prayer group possesses from heaven the obligation, the right, or the authority to make or renew a consecration that can only be made according to heaven's command by the Pope and the body of bishops. 